Hello and welcome back to my channel. My name is Emma, also known as the Minimalist Engineer here on the internet, and today I'm going to be sharing with you my minimalist packing tips. So it is officially the travel season for my family and last year you guys had a ton of questions on how I pack like a minimalist and I just didn't have time to film a video last year and so this year I'm going to kick off my travel season by making this video for you guys. So I'm going to insert a picture here and show you guys how I actually plan to pack. It's very simple. Basically, I just write down each day that I'm going to be gone for and then the basic things that I need and then I will lay out all of my clothing. But after I make my list for each day, I will make a cumulative list of all of the things I need. Half of it will be clothes and the other half will be toiletries and other just essentials that I need for traveling. Here is how I set out my clothing. So I have it organized by each day. I will be gone Friday, Saturday, Sunday, and we are going to see a college basketball game from where I graduated. It's what my mom wanted for Christmas, and I'm really excited to go back, and I think she's super excited. It's gonna be a fun little girls weekend. If you look at what I needed, I just have it all laid out. I spared you guys my undergarments, but this is how I set it all out just to make sure I have everything. So like, I have my sweatshirt that I'm gonna wear, I have a shirt, and then I have a pair of leggings that I'm gonna wear, and then over here, this is my game day outfit, so I have a hat, a sweatshirt, undergarments, a t-shirt, and a pair of jeans, and then over here for my way home, I have a long sleeve shirt, a pair of leggings, my undergarments, and then I'm going to be re-wearing this sweatshirt. Now, you can share more of your clothes if you want to, but this is really simple. I always choose to pack a very small bag, which forces me to truly decide what I actually need to take and what I don't need to take. And that's really it for my clothing. And then I'll show you guys what I do for like my pajamas and stuff. Next is going to be my pajamas, loungewear, and my workout clothing. So over here, I just have a long sleeve t-shirt and a pair of sweatpants, which I'll be wearing to lounge in and wear as my pajamas. And over here, I have one workout outfit. It's just going to be a long black sleeve shirt and a pair of workout leggings. Even if I work out twice, I'm just going to rinse these after the first day and wear them again. The likelihood of me working out two of the three days that I'm on vacation is probably not that great. So to keep it simple, I'm just going to bring one set and call it a day. Finally, let's talk about toiletries. I try to keep this as simple as possible for road trips because I do not want these taking up a ton of space in my suitcase. So in here, I have the bare necessities. I have contact solution. I'll add either my contacts or my glasses, whatever I'm not wearing to this bag. And then I have a face wash, some lip gloss, body lotion, because I do have some super sensitive skin. I have a toothbrush in here and I have some curl cream for my hair. I am a curly girl method person, so I do need to make sure that I have good products for my hair. And finally in here is all of the makeup that I will need for the weekend. This is difficult to do one-handed. But I just have like basic face makeup, concealer, powder, mascara, eyeliner, and liquid eyeliner. Nothing fancy whatsoever. This is just the basics. For the bag that I am using, this is not mine. This is my mom's, but I use the same one in a different pattern, but mine is dirty. So this is just a basic Vera Bradley Weekender, and all my stuff will fit very comfortably in this bag. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video. Do not forget to like and subscribe and I will see you in the next one.